The purpose of this video is to explain how to create and manage stacking plans inside Cloud Stacking Plan. So the first thing we'll do is go ahead and log in. Once we're logged in, it takes us back to our property screen where we can click search. And we can see a list of our properties and we're managing the Western Union building today. And so what we're going to do is click on stacking plans. But what we have in parentheses here, what this number means is that that's how many stacking plans are currently created against this property. So if I go ahead and click on stacking plans, we're going to see a list of three stacking plans that are currently created. If I want to create a brand new stacking plan, all I have to do is come up here and click new stacking plan. And that'll take me to a fresh screen where I can, where I can enter in everything about my stacking plan and create a fresh stack. If I wanted to clone an existing stacking plan, I could just go, I could come over here and click clone. And what that will actually do is take a carbon copy of this stacking plan here and create it down here. And the purpose of that is, you know, let's say that you have a stacking plan that is built out for a particular client and you don't want to make any changes to it and you want to maintain the integrity of it, you can just clone it, create a new copy of it, and then, you know, uh, you know make any changes that you want. So if I go ahead now and click View Plan, it brings up the detail of my stacking plan. So it starts out with plan name, name up here, which basically this is just the, you know, this is just for the sake of your own, um, your, your own organization, so you know, um, you know what stacking plan that you know that, that you're dealing with. This is your plan title, uh, which shows up down here as Centura Tower, Centura Tower. You got plan notes, which can show up in the, um, in the footer. I'll go ahead and save. Okay, here's where you can embed an image at the top of the stacking plan. So this could be a logo. This could be a picture of the, uh, uh, you know, of the property itself. Um, if I wanted to use the property image that we that we have against the property detail, all I have to do is click this blue button and it pulls it in. And you can see a nice picture of the property here. And you can set the height and the width of what this image will be at the you know at the top of the property. So if I wanted to you know. If I wanted this to be twice the height and twice the width, what I have, I can hit save, and then it really shows at the top of the stacking plan. So if I wanted to set my border, if I wanted to set a border size, let's say a thicker border, and I wanted a border color of a particular color, and I wanted a, a different type, if I wanted it to be outset, and I wanted a you know, alignment to the right of the stacking plan, hit save you can see that it does all that right down here. So you can have that be very specific to what you're looking for. Um, so you can choose to show your plan notes or not show your plan notes. You can check this on or off. Same with address, which you know these are both in the footer of the stacking plan. If you want to show just vacant properties on here, you can check this. If you don't want to see the plan title or you don't want any image or you don't want the color, um, the, uh, the uh, legend at the bottom, you can, un you, know, you can check or uncheck these. If you don't want to see the square footage of percentage per suite, now what this is is that you've got a certain amount of square footage um, for a particular uh, floor. What this will do, if if you've got this, uh, you know, actually unchecked, what this will do is that you know is inside the cell itself, it will show what percentage this you know this particular suite is of the uh, total square of the total square footage. Um, so if I go ahead and uncheck this, and I want to show that, and if I hit save. You'll see that you you know you know that this particular suite is 27% of the total square footage of this floor, so that's the so that's the purpose of that. Um, so over here is the plan data element. So this is the actual data or the suite detail um, of the cell that you want to show inside the stacking plan. So currently we have it set at name, square footage, suite number, and lease expiration. If you want to add any more of this detail, you you know you just check these and hit save and then they would all show up inside the cells. Plan title formatting. Uh, this is basically, you know, again, uh, you know, against your plan title, if you want to increase the font or the alignment. So say, you know, we've got Centura Tower down here. You know, let's just say that we want that centered. And we want a font color of, let's say, a nice, a nice blue. We want to italicize it. We want to bold it. And we want to make it much bigger. And we want a different font of uh, something like this. And we'll hit save, and that's what you got since you're a tower. So you can basically play with these um, and, and get it to wherever you want. So even if I come over here and I now if I center my, my picture, that's what you see when it was printed out. Um, so that's the plan title formatting. What you've got for the general plan coloring for the stacking plan 
is you can choose from a series of colors of uh, standard color schemes that we have inside the system. So you've got standard red, green, blue, blue, black and white, bacon, and sweet category. Standard is this set of colors that you see here. Red, red, green, blue looks like this. Uh, you've got blues, which is just a series of really nice blues, and you've got uh, black and white. If you if you don't have a color printer, that's helpful. Um, and you've got vacant, which basically this highlights the vacant properties, um, you know, inside the property, you know, itself, or I should say the the uh, vacant suite inside the property itself. Um, and then you've got suite category, which we touched on this a little bit inside the suite detail. What suite category is, is if you've actually um, if you've actually assigned uh, suite categories to each each of your suite detail, and those suite categories have corresponding colors. Instead of your coloring being being based on expiration year, it's going to be based on the suite category that you that you assigned at this level over here and set up. If you come over to suite categories, you can see class one and so on is uh, class one, class two, class three. So anything, any suites that are assigned to these classes, it's going to be colored accordingly. So if you don't want to color your stacking plan according to um, you know, you know, lease, you know, lease expiration. You can create your own criteria of how your cells are to be colored. So that's the point of that. So if we want to get right back to the stacking plan we were on before, we can go ahead and click My Last Stack. You're going to see see that option for My Last Stack throughout most of the screens in the system because a lot of times when you're building out a stacking plan, you you know, you're going to hop over to the uh, floor and suite detail, or you might come over to the property detail and edit some data. You might come over to anywhere else. Inside all those screens, you're always going to see this My Last Stack that's always going to get you right back to the stacking plan that you were on before. It's just a really quick way to get right back to work um, because you can really get lost in, you know, inside some of these screens at times. Um, so that's the point, point of that. Now also, you know, with the coloring, say that we're on a standard and we like the standard colors, but let's just say that for some reason year two, you know, you, you know we want to change it to more of a custom color. So we want to change this to red for some reason. Um, so we can basically just click inside that color and this, you know, palette shows up. You can choose your color and then hit save. And then it basically changes it to that color. So it kind of overrides our, you know, you know, our standard. What we also provide, you know, these are standard HTML color codes. Um, if you want to basically pull a code from a very large chart that we have, you can basically click on chart. And you'll see that you're going to get a series of colors in here. So you can choose any of these colors. So what you'll do is highlight the color that you like. So let's just say that, you know, that we want a really deep red. We highlight this, you know, with our mouse and we'll right click and copy it and we'll choose my last stack. We'll come right back over here and we'll come in here and we, we will just paste that color that we picked out and hit save. So now, you know, you can get very specific, you know, with the colors that you want, you know, by, you know, by doing that. Now we have plant formatting options. If we want to set this to a portrait or to a landscape layout, we want to set it to a landscape. Now you can see it's a little bit more spread out that way. If you're going to print out to a different paper size, you can choose that here. Suite order. If you want your suites on the stacking plan to be ordered by suite square foot or lease, lease expiration or name, you can choose that. If you want to change your font, you can change that. And that's basically for the uh, suite detail itself. You can change your font size, font color, bold, italicize. You can put a border. If you want to have a really thick border on here, you can hit save, and there you have it, a really thick border. Um, if you want to change your border type of outset, and you got you know that, we're going to put this back to we're going to put this back to solid, and we're going to you know, we're going to change this back to a more manageable border. Um, over here is custom suite formatting options. Now, let's just say that you have a, a particular suite that you really want to stand out for some reason. It, um, that you want to that that you like the standard layout that you have laid out here for the entire stacking plan, but there's one particular suite that you want to really stand out. What you can do is come down into your stacking plan, and you're going to see three links. The uh, middle link is an F, and that stands for F or F stands stands for formatting. If you click F, it's going to take you into your custom suite formatting options. And inside here, you can specify a different back color. So let's just say that you wanted this to be a really bright green and you wanted a, a font color of a blue. 
and you wanted the font to really jump off the page, and you wanted to set it to a bold, italic, or underline, and you wanted to even put in a note, okay, you can hit save. And that particular suite is really going to jump off the page. Everything else, you know, maintain how you had it before, um, but that particular suite really jumps out, you know, for some reason. Say, say it's, you know, during a build out or it's under construction or something along those lines that, that you want this to really stand out. You have the ability, you know, to customize just that particular cell. Now, if you want to reverse this formatting just for the suite, this DF means delete formatting. So if I click DF, it takes it away and puts it right back, you know, to where it was before. Now, let's just say that you've gone through and you've custom formatted a series of cells inside of here, and you don't want to hit DF on all of them. You can, you can basically uh, come over here and clear plan a custom formatting. You can check this box and hit clear, and it's going to set the entire thing back to the defaults that you have set over here. That's, you know, so that's the point of that. If you're ready to print your stacking plan, you have three formats with which you can print your stacking plan. You can print it to a bitmap, which is an image file, an HTML, which is, uh, you know, which is basically a browser file, or you can print it to a PDF document. So if I go ahead and print to a bitmap, you can see that it popped into an image file with which it, it, it goes into a browser, but this is an actual image file. Okay, so that's a bitmap. If I want to print it to an HTML, I choose print to HTML, and it actually prints into a HTML file. If I want to print it to a PDF, I can choose print to PDF, and I get it into an Adobe Acrobat PDF file, which I can go ahead and I can print. What you also have the option to do with all three formats is you can actually copy these to what's called a file cabinet. The file cabinet is basically a cloud storage area inside Cloud Stacking Plan that you have the ability to um, either upload files to or print files to, you know, for your own storage. There, you know, we have no limit on the uh, file cabinet, so you can put up as much stuff as you like. It's all part of your subscription. Um, so say, for instance, that I wanted to put a copy of a stacking plan into my file cabinet, you know, just for future uh, reference. I can just choose, I can just check this and hit print to PDF and it printed my PDF, but then if I come over to File Cabinet, you'll see that on 116 it actually printed it right here. So you can actually click View and you have a copy of it so it's saved there forever or until you choose to delete it. So if I choose My Last Stack, it takes me right back to My Last Stack. Uh, one other thing that we have as far as printing is concerned is that you have the ability to uh, print to what's called the print cart. Now let's just say that, uh, that you have to print a series of PDF files You've got to run a couple of rent roll reports. You've got to print a couple of stacking plans. And you want it combined into one singular PDF file. What you have the ability to do is, is come into here, and you can say copy to print cart. So you can check this, print the PDF, and it printed it. So now if I come over to my print cart, you can see that it's sitting in my print cart. It's ready to print. So now let's say that I want to print a couple of reports um, you know, to go with that. So I'll come over to my reporting area, and I'm going to choose rent roll, and I'm going to choose my I'm going to choose my building. I'm going to choose a PDF you know format, but I'm going to say send it only to my print cart. Hit run report, okay, and it says that your report has completed and it's in the print cart. So if I come over to print cart, I'll see not only my stacking plan, but I'll also see my rent roll. And if I'm ready to go ahead and print these, what it'll do is take these two documents and combine them into a singular PDF. So if I choose print check below, you'll see that there's my stacking plan, and my, my second page is actually my rent roll. So it's all combined in, in, into one PDF. So now if I choose my last stack, it takes me right back to my stacking plan. So that's basically an overview of how the stacking plan um, you know, module works. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.